Hi guys, Greg Rick here, and welcome to part 3 of my top 30 favorite movies. If you haven't seen part 1 and 2, then I suggest you watch those two before you watch this one. So, here it is, the last one. What's my number one favorite movie, you may ask? Well, let's find out. Number 10. Gone with the Wind. I have to say, I freaking love Gone with the Wind. I love the story, I love the characters, I love the cast, I love every bit of it. I love Vivian Lee as Scarlet. She did a great job playing her character. I like how she goes to extreme measure to get the things she wants, especially Ashley Wilkes. The great Clark Gable did pretty good as well. Honestly, this was my first time seeing Clark Gable in a movie. And this was a great introduction to him and his character. Even his character with Captain Butler was pretty good. He's very much of a role model for guys. This movie has great action, great scenes, great moments. It's just great. What else do I have to say? Gone with the Wind is timeless. Number 9. Amadeus. This is one of those perfect movies. It has brilliant writing. Excellent cast, great music, it's incredible. I'm always aware that this is historical fiction. It's not historically inaccurate. Mozart worked hard on his music and it was never reported that Salieri wants to kill him. I love Salieri's jealousy of Mozart. You could really sympathize with him. And I like how he feels overshadowed by Mozart's talent and try to show that he's better. And his battle between him and God is just wonderful. Much like Clark Gable, this is my first time seeing Tom Holmes who was a Quasimodo from The Hunchback of Notre Dame in this movie. He did a great job playing as Mozart. With great music and a good cast, Amadeus is truly genuine, showing the passion and respect to the great genius himself, Mozart. Number 8 The Lion King Okay, this is gonna be my last Disney film I'm gonna put on the list, but honest to God, I adore this film. I like how this film is loosely based on William Shakespeare's play of Hamlet. It's actually similar to Hamlet, but it treats itself very different. I love the animation, I love the colors, I love the songs, I love the characters, and I love the message. I'm not gonna spoil it for those who haven't seen it, but for those who have seen it, you know what I'm talking about. I love Simba, whether as a kid or an adult, and Jonathan Taylor Thomas and Matthew Broderick did a great job. James Earl Jones is perfect as Mufasa, taking as the king and being a great father to our main character. Scar is an interesting character, and Jeremy Irons did so well doing the voice. He sounds so evil and so diabolical that he'll do whatever it takes to be king. In closing, The Lion King is a classic, no matter how you look at it. Seven. West Side Story When I first saw this movie, I was hooked. I love the dancing, I love the songs, and I love how they reinterpret Shakespeare's play of Romeo and Juliet, but they treat it different with style. I love the cast, especially Rita Moreno and Natalie Wood, even though when she say a word in Spanish, it's kind of painful. This film really captures the spirit of New York and Upper West Side, and it shows the risk and consequences of what our main characters are going through. West Side Story is incredible. I will still be watching this in the near future. Number 6 Wally. Out of all the films made by Pixar, the film I love the most is Wally. -E. It's very much of a cautionary tale. It what really intrigues me is that it shows what happens if the Earth is polluted, leading technology to do most of the work and consumes us. It has interesting commentary as well. It has good humor, good characters, and the animation is unbelievable. Especially when Wally -E is flying in space, it looks beautiful and gives you a sense of wonder. I love how this film took some inspiration from 2001 A Space Odyssey. Wally -E is one of the best films made by Pixar, and it still continues to be one of my faves. Number 5 Carrie. I gotta say, I'm not a huge fan of Stephen King, but Carrie is the first film I've seen based on a Stephen King novel. It's very much of an anti-bully sort of a movie. It's not really scary, and I think it's not supposed to be. It's very much of a modern version of Cinderella. 
The only two things that make this film scary is the music and Carrie's mother, played by Piper Laurie. She did a great job playing a crazy over the top mother who is obsessed with religion. Even John Travolta in his first movie did pretty good also. Sissy Spacek did a great performance as Carrie, capturing the innocent side of her character. Nothing to be said but Carrie is simply a classic. Number 4 Batman I know everyone likes The Dark Knight, but personally I love Batman. This film really shows the true Batman that the comics were written about. Tim Burton did a nice job taking Batman to his roots. I love Michael Keaton as Batman, and I love how he can switch his personalities from Bruce Wayne to Batman. Jack Nicholson is perfect as the Joker. Say whatever about Heath Ledger as the Joker. For me, Jack Nicholson is the best Joker, and his performance really defines the character. Even the music of the great Danny Elfman really brought Batman to life. For me, this is the true Batman, and Batman is worth here at the number 4 spot. Three. Star Wars. Now I'm talking about the very first Star Wars, the one that started off. For all the Star Wars films I've seen, the one Star Wars film I really love more is the very first Star Wars. Because this is a good example of telling a good story and making a good movie. And George Lucas really show us how. Mark Hamill is great as Luke Skywalker. Carrie Fisher is perfect as Princess Leia. Alan Gills did a good performance as the wise Obi-Wan Kenobi. It has great action, memorable scenes and lines. It's just brilliant. What else do I have to say? You all seen it and heard of it. It's Star Wars. What more can you ask? Two. Raiders of the Lost Ark Here's a film that shows the meaning of adventure. It has great action, good moments, and a great cast. Harrison Ford who did Star Wars is awesome as Indiana Jones. Paul Freeman is great as Bella. Also, I love Karen Allen as Marion. She looks, acted, and sounded the part. Not gonna give too much away, but all I can say is Raiders of the Lost Strike is still one of the greatest adventure films of all time, being the very first Indiana Jones film. And my number one favorite movie of all time is... Close Encounters of the Third Kind For those who don't know, Close Encounters of the Third Kind is my all time favorite movie. I love the suspense, I love the atmosphere, I love the cast, and the music, good god, just listen to it. Every time you listen to it, it gives you a sense of hope and happiness. I like how it takes the time with the build up and the suspense and tension. I like Richard Dreyfuss' character Roy Neary. I love how he struggles to find something that he can't answer or explain. The payoff is just wonderful. I'm not going to spoil it, but all I can say is, it's breathtaking. Steven Spielberg really took his time and effort to make this film, and his dedication really shows. In conclusion, Closing Council of the Third Kind is my number one favorite movie of all time. It's simply a masterpiece, and this is one of Steven Spielberg's strongest work. So that concludes my top 30 favorite movies. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. And I just made this list because... You know, I love these movies, showing my passion, my love for them. I know there's a lot of movies out there, but I choose one of the best ones that I've seen. And, and um, just showing my passion and love for it. So, so that's it. That's everything. And I'll see you next time. And take care.